Would you rather a hundred screaming kids or a bunch of professional surgeons in your property? Childcare or medical center, which one would you buy? I get asked this question all the time. What should I buy, a medical center or a childcare facility? If you've been following my content, you will know that I would never recommend buying an established childcare center. And here's the reasons why. First of all, with childcare centers, they're typically on long-term leases with no market reviews. Sure, you can buy a brand new childcare center that's got 15 years fixed rental, but there's no market reviews. So you're only getting tiny little increments. You're right off just putting your bank in a safe somewhere, forgetting about it. The other thing I don't recommend buying established childcare centers is because the security bond that you get never covers the make good. So for whatever reason, if the childcare center business goes bust, moves out, you're left with a specialized purpose-built facility and I can guarantee that the bond that you get is not gonna be enough to make good the premises, which means you're stuck with a childcare center. And if there are no more childcare businesses out there looking for this type of facility, that you're stuck with this property. And the third reason I don't usually recommend buying an established childcare center is because there's very little development upside. You see with a childcare center, half of it is indoor, half of it is outdoor. They've already maximized the usable space. So there's very little that you can do to value add, particularly in the short to medium term. So these are the reasons why I usually don't recommend buying an established childcare center. However, with a medical center, I think it's definitely worth considering. Why? First of all, medical centers, as we've seen, is COVID proof, is recession proof, and typically you get quality tenants. However, there are some pitfalls that you need to look out for if you are considering buying a medical center. So first of all, you have to understand where is the medical center? Is it inside a retail complex? Is it part of an office building or is it somewhere else? Because what you're actually buying is not a medical facility. You're actually just buying a property that happens to have a medical center tenant. So you have to consider that if one day the medical center moves out, what can you do with the property? If the property is in a very specific location and there's not a lot of passing traffic, then maybe it'll be very difficult to release to another tenant. The other thing you need to consider is not overpaying for the property. Yes, you may pay a little bit extra because you're buying a medical center tenant, but don't overpay to extent that if the property becomes vacant, you've overpaid. So what I mean by that is you wanna make sure that if the property is vacant tomorrow, you still haven't overpaid for the property. And finally, the thing that you need to understand is that in the event the medical center does move out one day, how easy is it to release this property to a different type of user group? Now, if the property is very difficult to release to a different user group, or it's in a location where it's more destinational driven, or you've you know, overpaid for it, then perhaps this is not the right type of investment for you. Now, what I would do if it was my money, I would actually buy a property that's vacant where I can reposition it and find a medical or childcare center facility. Once I've locked them in place, then I can sell the property for a profit. That's what I would do. Now, if you want more nuanced and quick tips like this, subscribe so you don't miss out.